Developing tonight, State Senator Leland Yee, the target of a federal sting. He did today withdraw his candidacy for Secretary of State. He is charged with wire fraud, arms smuggling. Some fellow lawmakers want him to resign. Also arrested uh, well-known political consultant Keith Jackson and a notorious Chinese gang member known as Shrimp Boy. Yee's alleged connection to illegal firearms, that came as a real shock to people who knew him as a crusader for gun control. Grant Lotus is here with the gleeful reaction from the gun lobby. Grant? Yeah, interesting twist. Check it out. Within hours of Senator Yee's arrest, the National Rifle Association was tweeting its members about the downfall of one of its most vocal opponents. And this was before word came that Yee was charged with arms trafficking. It's all about killing. It is about uh, murdering large numbers of individuals. Senator Yee's outspoken campaign against assault weapons put him in the crosshairs of groups like Gun Owners of California. Anti-gun radical Senator Leland Yee of San Francisco is at it again. Last year, he sponsored a bill to ban so-called bullet buttons, enabling shooters to quickly replace empty ammunition clips. This legislation, along with the assault weapons laws on the California law books, are unconstitutional constitutional on all fronts. The bill never passed, even as Yee's commitment to gun control brought hate mail like this racist letter. You can't allow, you know, these kinds of hateful messages to deter you. Yee kept up his Twitter campaign against guns right up to his arrest on suspicion of illegal arms trafficking. What can you say about this? Yee's arrest also made headlines in the video game world. He was a vocal opponent of violent video games and sponsored legislation restricting their sales to minors. If you'd like to see the entire criminal complaint, it's more than 100 pages. We've posted it on cron4.com.